Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of The Snack World on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing on with even more side quests. Uh, this is definitely not part of the story, but I do like to do the side quests because it's a little bit more fun, you get a little bit stronger, and the game comes a little bit easier, right? Grinding in any kind of RPG game. So thanks for coming, all of you guys that are here, shout outs to you, thanks for being here. So yeah, we're uh, we're in chapter six, we got a lot to do. I was just taking a look at all of my uh, all of my quests that I have on board, and dude, trust me, we got a lot of them. We got a lot of cool quests for these things. Like I, I want to do them all. Trust me, I do. Like look at this. Level thirty-five quest against this dragon for this interesting-looking key. I want to grind that. A lips. I don't even know what those lips charm does, but I want to grind that. You know what I mean? There's a, a fairy bow. I want to grind for it. Look at that shield. You can go over there for a level 39 quest for the shield. There's a cool looking axe right there. A cool looking dagger. You can fight double Medusa. Are you kidding me? Double Medusa for some crazy looking lands. Level 41. There's a lot of cool quests happening right on board. So anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for uh, just enjoying the series and thanks for supporting uh, Snack World on my channel. I love it. And of course, if you really want to, you can grind this level a hundred times and get this awesome axe. And I kind of want to do that too. So there's actually a lot of things happening in the game right now. And uh, the more you play it, the more little side quests are going to pop up. Even though we thought we were done with the chapter one side quest, that's, there's a lot more. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, going around town. I'm going to be accepting the people's quests. And then we'll go do them. And it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So we got Vincent over here. I'm not really sure who these guys are. We're not going to bother translating any of these. And you guys are more than welcome to uh, take a look yourself. Feel free. Oh man, okay, so Denise says that she has the that axe on the 3DS game, and it's stupid powerful, and it's great. Well, you know what? If that's what it is, then I may end up grinding for it. I don't know, man. Nintendo Labo is going to be coming out in the next couple days, so... We'll probably stick uh, Snack World for like a little bit at a time. Not as much as I do like every day, so it'll be fun. What's up, Kotetsu? How you going? Hey, Amber. Hey, Olanda. What's going on? Hello. I think I accepted that quest. Something's going on with Gob's son over here, so Gob's just getting rocked. Holy moly, what are you guys doing here? Uh don't give me the defensive genie, even though he's my favorite. And then there's one genie with like a pokey forehead. You guys see that? Like, what is he? What are these genies? We'll take the genius quest. We'll do it. Anything to help these fools out. Like, what do they need me to do their quests for? They can just snap their fingers and it can happen. Yo, I've never actually looked at this hotel. Look! Look at level five. The level of detail. Look, this guy's playing nine ball over here. Like, the level of detail in every single one of their games. No other developer matches it, hands down. Say it once and I'll say it again, dude. So cool, the level of detail in everything that they do. Yo. What is this guy? You little monkey? You don't have a little uh, quest over your head. I don't need to talk to you. Okay, so this is Gob's room where everyone's uh, going on over here. I don't even know what this is. A uh, little girl on the bed? Okay, well, I don't really need to talk to you. You don't have a quest over your head, so it's not worth it. Uh, I don't know. Can't go into those rooms, so we're gonna be okay. So we accepted two quests. I remember seeing a quest where? There's a little cat. I love this cat. Look, the cat follows you. That's cute. Wait, what happens if I bring him somewhere? Kind of like in Yokai Watch when you kick the can into the trash can. Oh, <laughs> check out this guy. Straight from Pirates of the Caribbean. It's the tiger with the cutlass. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, just messing around with you guys. All right. Okay, so we accepted his quest, and we can go do all the quests um, once we collect them all. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so anyway, let's move on over here. I do want to look around to see if there's any other uh, people with the quest icon above their heads. And then again, like the beauty of level five is that you don't need to know Japanese in order to have fun with the game. You don't. 
just have fun with it. All right, so here's a little girl. She wants something. Not really sure what she wants, but we'll figure it out. Saber Tiger. Oh, Kotetsu. Hey, dude. Hey, just want to drop a donation just because. Thanks, man. You have to do that. But cool. Let's do it. That's good, man. Let me make sure that my alerts are looking good. Sometimes they're being a little bit glitchy. But hey, thanks for coming, man. Thanks for dropping. And uh, we'll definitely use that to um, fuel the next summoning stream. That legendary dude that's happening. Anyway, yo, save that money and get Snack World and play along with. How about that? That's even better, right? Okay, should be better. Dude, I don't know what's up with alerts. There we go, that's a little better. All right, refreshed. Okay, anyway, Kotetsu, get the game. I mean, you could even listen to Patelic Den. You could listen to Yolanda, who have been playing this game. It's worth it, man. It's a little pricey, though. It's a little pricey. I had to drop 90 bucks in order to get it, because I didn't have an international credit card. So I had to drop 90 bucks to get the game to play it, uh, simply because I had to buy a $50 card, and then I had to buy a $30 card, and then like taxes on it and everything like that, right around 90 bucks. So not bad, I'm having fun with it. I'm getting my money's out worth out of it. If this game keeps me up until like 2 a.m. doing quests with online strangers, then you know there's something good about this game. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I, I did purchase the Snack World Amiibo, or Amiibos. Multiple. That's right. And so we are using the five bucks to pay for it. I already shelled out the money though, so <laughs> That'll definitely help with that. No, I purchased two of each of them guys. Uh, they're on a slow boat from Japan I purchased two of each of them one to display and one to play So we're gonna do an unboxing once that slow boat from Japan comes over so it'll be pretty cool So let's take a look. Thanks for reminding me All right, so do I have the quests in this one? I don't think I do these are just like the online only quests and we'll do these online only quests towards the tail end of the live stream. I honestly don't mind. Yolanda's floating around. I saw another one of you guys that actually has this game and wants to play along with. You guys are more than welcome to. So uh, right now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna do anything from level uh, number seven, but we're gonna jump on board with uh, all these level six quests. And we can get some, oh, check out this bat. Hammer, axe, wand? I don't know what this is, but I want it. Okay. So let's take a look at this. We've got uh, Crunchy Monster. That's what Crunchy, the brown little monster. We got the question mark dudes. You got the squid, and then you got the leaf. So I gotta adjust my weapons accordingly. So Crunchy, okay, we got the squid monster. We don't need this one. So we need the leaf. Something that's super effective against leaf or Crunchy Monsters. There we go, times two against Crunchy. Oh, here's this one, the question mark dudes. And then uh, we're gonna go bats with this. I don't really like this weapon. Give me, um, I got crunchy dudes. What was that? Oh, leaf, something super fun. Holiday staff is good against the leaf, so we're gonna go with, with that. And I think we're set. We got two staves. Uh, they're both pretty good. And uh, we're gonna go there. All right, apparently it's called the, okay, beast, wonder, marine, and nature. Oh, thank you, Denise. Thank you. You saved my life. I cannot figure out for the life of me what we're gonna call those enemies. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna try to remember that. Beast. Wonder is the question mark, right? That makes sense, right? Okay, so let's do this together. All you guys in the chat, you guys can feel free to correct me. All right, so this is beast. Beast attribute. We got wonder attribute. Marine. Yeah, that's the squid. That makes sense. And then of course nature. All right, I'm down. Tell me the other ones. Like, what is the ghost? A ghost? And what's the bat? What are these icons? What do they? <laughs> what do they mean? And then the machinery, and then the dragon. Dragon's obviously dragon. What about like the water one? All right, all right. I'm down. I'm down. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna attempt to get this. But before we embark, I want to make sure that we're looking as fresh as possible, just like in Splatoon. Uh, I don't have enough hats, man. None of these hats are in fashion today, so it's kind of lame. So I'm wearing this dumb hat. All right, I might as well wear this cool hat, right? None of my hats are in fashion, but this was actually pretty good. We're rocking that 1.8 right now. One, I thought we were like 1.8 something. Don't I have like a something rather with all three of them on? Yeah, this. What happened? I thought I had that on. All right, whatever. We're uh, we're rocking this ring, and now we're at a we're at a 2.0 uh, feng shui luck uh, stat in the game. So that's awesome. 
Yo, we're rocking that big 2.0. All right, looking good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to rock. I'm standing right in front of the train, just like in Yokai Watch. We're gonna stand right here. Just like in Yokai Watch, where we stand in front of the cars and then we're just. Oh, you guys want me to move out of the way? Oh, okay, sure. All right, so we're in. Let's do this. Ghost icon is undead, bat icon is demon, machine icon is machine. There we go, there we go. Okay. Oh, I brought the wrong snack. I don't really like this guy. I'll let you guys choose a snack on the next one, I promise. So, for some reason, Cinderella's with us over here. I don't really know why. But we're in. Thanks for coming. Okay, so we gotta do a mystery dungeon. Not the biggest fan of mystery dungeons, but that's part of the game. It is. I honestly think I got my mystery dungeon fixed in Busters 2 when we were playing that for uh, you know, a couple weeks. But whatever, let's knock him out. Oh yeah, that's right. If we're gonna be fighting, I gotta use my cat spray. And that's a fart bomb right there. You're definitely not gonna step on that. Here we go. Befriending time. Got him! First try. <laughs> Little baby cat! Ah, oh, that's cool! Alright, what's the cat's name? What's the baby cat's name? That's cute. Oh, none of you guys are Oh! What? Something spanky. Are we done here? I got a big team right now. Yeah, two Cinderellas. That is a little bit weird. I didn't I didn't really recognize that until you brought it up. That is a little how is that possible? That's that's what I call a split personality. Wow. Cat's name is Hidora. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if Hidora's any good. And that looks like Machamp. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Frog. Out of here, Frog and Toad. Your favorite book series growing up. <laughs> Alright, get me out of here. You think I want to fight these dudes? I don't. I'm actually a monster. Get me to the treasure. I want to beat these quests and I want to get online. You know what I mean? Some people. Some people I want to play. Alright, another treasure chest? Come on, man. I can't. You know what? When I see a treasure chest, since I'm at like 2.0 on my fashion statement, I have to open them. You never know what's going to be inside. Remember, we saw a treasure chest one time, and it was an infinity chest. And it gave us the very awesome legendary jar that we've been using, so I can't pass them up. And ever since I got this equip item that allows us to see where exactly the, um, the treasures are at, it's awesome. It's really cool. I don't remember where I got this ring from, but apparently that's one of the miracle rewards too. Jeremy, I agree with you, man. We're on the road to uh, half a million subscribers. Yeah, we're almost there. What are we at? 478? That's not bad. Keep it up, dude. Keep sharing the content. That's what uh, definitely helps out. Okay, so I'm kind of lost as to where we need to go. I think we're gonna go up here and then down. What the heck? That didn't do it. Plus, plus to zoom out a little bit. No, I'm zooming in. Great. Okay, so we're gonna run this way. We're gonna go here, and this is the exit. We've looked everywhere. There we go, we're out. Done. Okay. Oh, moving on. We're gonna go up this way. We're gonna go here. Just gonna try to look around and see what we can see. Oh no, a button pressing floor. Ugh. So I also did notice upon playing offline for hours and hours on end that whenever the door opens, 
via finding a key, via pressing all the buttons, you will actually get the one and only instance of HD rumble in the game. That's it. That's all level five programmed. I feel is like an oversight. Come on, I mean, wouldn't it be great to like feel the haptic feedback? I don't know, that's what happens with ports, you know what I mean? Like sometimes if you got a port, you're gonna do it really well. Like you're gonna change a lot of things and you're gonna take advantage of the hardware. But like, I don't know, HD Rumble was just like an afterthought for them. They're like, oh, last minute. Level five's like, oh yeah, did we forget something? Yo, turn to stone, I never hit that one before. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, I kind of felt like it was an afterthought. And for, for me to say that about level five, man, dude, level five, they take advantage of the systems that they're developing for. Oh man. Like remember with level five and Yokai Watch, dude, they were before their time. With Yokai Watch 1, 2015? Dude, what did they come out? 2013 in Japan? 2013 in Japan, they were using the, the QR code scanner. Oh my, oh my gosh. They're using the QR code scanner. They're using all sorts of crazy stuff. Before anyone did that on the Nintendo 3DS. It was insane. Yo, that guy just paused a few. Anyway, that's my two cents about HD Rumble. Yo, Shock Trap. <laughs> Just like in Busters, what? Okay, we got a lollipop, don't need it. Alright, there's just a lot of enemies. I'm really not looking forward to fighting them. I just want to get out of here. I want to finish the quest. Let's go. Hey, Peter Pan Pan! Don't tell me you're gonna fight me. Dang it! I don't have anything super effective against Peter Pan Pan. He is of the humanoid variety. Get him, team! Oh my, he just shot my little dude. Come on, fire cat. Hey, that's actually one of the uh, one of the cre the quest rewards that we were looking through. Yo, Peter Pan Pan coming through. Thanks, bud. Uh, Guillermo, unfortunately you can't. You cannot change the language to English. That's like the number one question uh, that I get a lot. See, I just felt the feedback right now, and that says that the door opens up. So I gotta go find the door for starters. But no, there is no English uh, subtitles in this game, unfortunately. If there was, I'd be playing with them, don't you think? There we go, we're out of here. Uh. Yeah, that's as I'm like reading the comments on all the videos. Uh, number one comment is, "Are there English subtitles? When is this game coming to you, the USA?" I mean, those are the things that are dependent based on all of you guys. Holy moly! I was not about to eat that. Who's come? Who am I going for? Mysterious baseball, that boy. Holy cow! I just ate that. Dude, there's too many of them. Whoa, that's the first time I activated that special. That was cool. Yeah, right. I gotta drink my experience drink. Oh my gosh, Cinderella just shot me. Yo, Cinderella! Ow, ow! Get him up, get him up. All right, come after me. Come at me, Tyranna Triceratops, bro. Okay, so I beat up your baseball bat, friend. I'm gonna try to not heal, because I'm, oh, oh. Yeah, 
Okay, I broke my weapon on him like it's Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, apparently. So Cinderella's beating up Cinderella. It's fine. I don't have any super effective weapons against Cinderella. We're gonna blast her with magic. I'm gonna hit her with one more. Oh, apparently the the holiday staff, the cat staff, works for her. So, all right, cool. And my guest, or one of my jar, uh, one of my snacks is down. So I'm trying to look all over to see where they went down, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that's that cat, dude. Cat's not great. <laughs> I like the cat, but he's not great. All right, so there's the quest. Uh, the big lizard guy is named Barbarisaurus. Okay, cool. It's like a, a triceratops almost. So I, ooh, come on, I really want that. That looks like something straight out of Fire Emblem, dude. Come on, where's the golden chest requirement? Like, what are these requirements? Like, what did I do? One, two, three, and four. Obviously, one of them is clear the chapter, but like, where's the super gold one, man? Will we get it? We won't get it. Big, oh, that's good. That's some experience. And a flame cape? I've never seen these materials, so this is pretty cool. All right, Moxie indeed, dude. All right, so we beat the, the quest. I don't remember whose quest that was, but it's Cinderella's quest, got it. So Cinderella's on board, uh, the baseball bat snack. You don't know how hard it is for me to not call him Yokai. What? So now we got Cinderella as a snack, but like the mean version of Cinderella? Hey, I'm down. Does Cinderella have two different names? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so now we can honestly have, we can switch out, we can have both Cinderella's. We can have the healing Cinderella and we can have the offensive Cinderella somehow on our team. No idea how that works, but sure. All right, so let's change our snacks up. Like this little cat, I mean, it's cute, but it's just not doing work on that Bunsen burner. So we're gonna switch her out. Let's take a look. So we got you. Let's take a look at you. I think she, I think her special is an all stats boost if I've got the icon right. All stats boost times two? Like a super all stats boost? Dude, count me in. Let's go. And of course we got our healer and uh, we do have Cinderella that heals as well. So I'm down, I'm down for that. Yo, that's good. Captain Cinderella is an excellent attacker. Good. Hey, Christina. Hey, Jasmine. What's up? Hello, everyone. All right, let's do our next quest. Uh, I think that was pretty fun. I think that was very fun, actually. Uh, we're gonna go with, uh, ooh, yeah, we're gonna go fight this flavor of Medusa. So we're gonna need Marine, we're gonna need Ghost, Nature, Demon, and uh, dude, remind me. Oh, I gotta write these down. I need like a little flow chart. <laughs> What's the, Mystery? Mystery, is that the last one? Mystery, Nature, Marine, Demon, and Ghost. Those are the uh, attributes that we'll need today. So let's take a look. Uh, mystery. Okay, I got marine. I don't need this one. Uh, ghost? What's super effective against ghost? I got a couple things that are ghost. Do I have like a level two ghost though? D oh, here you go, nature. I'm gonna take this. Definitely gonna take this one because it's good against, wait, no, Oops, I'm sorry, wrong one. I need something good against nature and bats. So this is good against demon. Don't I have like a really good demon one? Like what? I wish there was a way I could sort this differently. Here we go. Yeah, I gotta remember that this staff, this lance is pretty good against that. All right, so marine. Uh, Marine. Oh, yeah, that's right. B-Man, tell me about that. I, I I was wondering about that. I came across the uh, little thing right over there. Okay, so we got Marine. We got Bat. I'm sorry, we got Marine. Demon. Question mark. Mystery. Uh, I need Nature. We got Nature. And then there was one more, right? Man, I wish there was like an auto... An auto function that says, hey, like, equip the weapons that would be really good for you on this quest. 
Uh, I need ghost. Something super effective against ghost. In case I'm gonna come across them. So we're just gonna go with this generic sword. Sure. You can auto equip and then change it up if you don't like it. How do you do that? How do you auto equip? Hold on, hold on. Am I missing something? Please enlighten me. Yolanda's telling me, B-Man's telling me. Like, how do you do that? Is there a button that you have to press to like auto equip your like weapons that are best for you? Best for the quest? Which one do we, we're going for? Oh, we're going for this one, right? Uh, hit the quest, but instead of A, hit R. No, that switches it. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, you're talking about this. Okay, got it, got it. So, like, accept it first. And then we're going to press R. And then... What did that do? Oh, did that automatically change up my weapons? I don't know. I guess it did. Wh and then what is this one? This automatically changes my clothing? Or then this does... I don't even know. What's the third one do? What's the second one, the third one, and the fourth one? It looks like weapons, clothing, accessories, and then what is this fourth one? Oh, this probably like shows the quest if you're ready to go. First button is optimize weaponry. Good. Bottom is everything. Oh, that's cool. Dude, that's so awesome. I was doing that manually for the last time. Wow, so good. All right, let's jump in. Second button is optimizes the stat equipment depending on the quest. Okay, good to know. And then of course, uh, the last one is probably like optimize everything. So that's, I'm down. I'm down, let's see how it works. All right, here we go. Oh, that was cancel the quest if I clicked on that? Okay, here we go. Learning. See, menuing? Menuing can be a little intimidating. But, I'm telling you guys, you'll be fine. Oh. Playing along with, you'll be fine. So we got Captain uh, Tiger, Captain Crunch over here. What, what's his name? <laughs> Saber Tiger? Yeah, we're gonna do uh, some side quests online, Heo Plays. If you gotta go, you gotta go, man. But, uh... We'll jump in once we're done with these uh, story quests, story side quests, we'll do the other ones. So yeah, any of you guys want to jump on board, feel free. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see, optimized. Apparently optimized, check that out. Doing these really good times two. Level two attacks on these boys, good job. Weapon optimization, heck yeah. You know what, I don't need to fight these things. Oh, there's a chest over here. I'm going. <laughs> Take a Malora card. Why not? Take some money on the ground. 162 bucks. I'm broke as a joke now. I spent so much money on clothing options in this game. Ow, dude. Wait, treasure chest. It could be an infinity chest. And one of my teammates died. That was Cinderella that just got rocked. What? That was strong. Maybe she's a glass cannon? Yeah, my character totally does look like a lumberjack. Isn't he awesome? That's the flying cat brand of clothing. It looks pretty great. And just like Splatoon 2, I mean, there's just so many different brands of clothing, and you just look awesome, and you feel good too. Just like in real life. Alright, get me out of this dungeon. Yup. See, I wish I could do these quests online. Like, it's it's kind of lonely. Kind of lonely playing them on uh, all by yourself. But the other quests will jump in. So Yolanda, if you're gonna be sticking around, I know that you have the game, so we can do it. 
B-Man, you got the game? B-Man, you were hanging out with Busters too, man, if I remember correctly. Christina, you gotta get this game. Kotetsu, man. Let's go. Denise is gonna get this game. You're waiting. Your copy of the game is on a slow boat from Japan as well, huh? <laughs> from what I was uh, from what I was talking about. Oh, I got bucketed, dude. Oh, twice. Just like my Snack World amiibo, they're on a slow boat from Japan. Yo, that cow! What is this cow with the lipstick? Get out of here! We need more people playing this game. You know what I need to go pick up though, right? I need to go pick up some Jara. Some actual in real life Jara. Whoop. You know what? I didn't even use my experience booster. And I had to fight my way through there. Wow. I always forget that, man. It's something new. Why do I have this drink on me now? I didn't equip this drink. Hold on. Get this drink out of here. I don't even know what that drink does. Get out of here. Where's my level five water bottle? Dude, it's like my water bottle in real life. <laughs> That's so crazy, man. What are the odds of that? That's like my water bottle in real life. Dude, get this little pink drink out of here. I don't even know what that does. All right, let's go. Let's fight this boss. Let's finish up this quest and uh, let's call it a day. That cow is Isabella. Interesting. Isabella, what an interesting name. Okay, so we're gonna go fight regular Medusa. Medusa EX. Uh, Medusa Awoken, like what are we doing here? Big shot. Boom! Oh my gosh, check out all that big damage we did against it. Ow, ow. Why is Chup even screaming? He's not even here. Dude, what? Hold on, that was cheap? I couldn't even get in cover, help! Oh my gosh. Yo, this is Medusa EX, let's go. Oh, wow, she throws those, like, volleyballs. And you know what's really cool about this one? The special on this is, like, a bomb. You throw, like, a, a grenade. Ouch! Did I break it? But this, uh, she's allergic to the pop. <laughs> the ice cream cone weapon! She's allergic to that big dairy from ice cream. Ow, buddy. Chill. Oh, you're, you're weak against all these weapons, huh? 422 with that big head. I'm not gonna break this weapon, but... Wow, dude, talk about optimizing this weapon. Ow, little things. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what those are. <laughs> oh, stop! Yeah. Explosion bomb for a hundred. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hold on. You're just volleyballing me. Take this. Oh, big bomb from downtown Medusa. What do you got? What do you got? Get off me. Let's take a sip of water from my water bottle. Ooh, ooh, we got some boss drops. Hook it up. What do you got? What do you got? Boom, boom. You got a Medusa eyeball. Sweet. And we got a cat spray. I have five cat sprays. All right. Who's Gorgon? Who's Gorgon? That was a, I like fighting Medusa. That's a good boss battle. Like her attack patterns are pretty fun. 
the little gimmick of hiding behind the uh, the pillars to dodge the eye shock. Let's see what we got. I didn't use any healing. Uh, we got five of these chests. Will we get it? Probably not. We got another Medusa eyeball. I guess that's cool. Dang it, another cat spray. We don't need cat spray. And you guys need a cat spray? I'll trade some Jara with you. You can do that too. I don't know if I told you guys. Christina, did I sell this game to you yet? Like, have I sold you on purchasing and figuring out how to get a Nintendo Japanese eShop? <laughs> Alright, so um, enlighten me, uh, Denise, as to what's going on with Saber Tiger over here. Like, what's his deal? And forgive me for, um, that's cool. Now we got him. Yeah, forgive me for speeding up through it, but we just, we gotta go. The show must go on. He's a beast variety, cool. Ta-da! All right, thanks, dude. That was really fun. <laughs> 26 bucks to your name. All right, all right. All right, here we go, let's jump on board. We're gonna do this little quest for the little girl. I'm gonna accept it and then watch as we automatically switch our weapons to cater to the enemies. That's like so awesome. I'm so glad you guys taught me that. Yo, Kotetsu's been sold, man. All you need is like, dude, get it. Figure it out, get your Nintendo Japanese eShop codes, buy a 50 and then buy a 30 and then get this game. You'll have some leftovers for when Yokai watch the game. How about that, Does that work out? You have some leftover yen for when Yokai, oh sorry, Yokai watch four comes out in Japan and you're gonna get it on the Nintendo Switch. So it's just investing into the near future. Am I right? I'm telling you, that's what you guys are gonna do. Do it. Oh, sweet, a new baby. Oh, got hit. And I got exhausted too, lame. Oh, yo, it's Demon on a Drum. Demon on a Drum set. I don't think I have any super effective weapons against Demon on a Drum set. There's the Cat Musketeer, cute. I don't like beating up the cat. Or is that a squirrel? Oh, it's the, it's the, the hold on, is that a cat on the chicken? <laughs> oh, I remember we saw that for the first time. And who's this big boy? All right, let me attack you. Oh, it's, whoa, is that a different, oh, okay, I'm out of here. Is that a different form of like Grumpus? Uh, Grumpy McGrumperson? Yo, he KO'd every one of that flip. Holy moly. I'm out of here, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Dang it. Give me that all stats to just KO this guy. Yo! This guy's no joke. Better be the best treasure of my life. <laughs> like a fur ball. What was that? It's a squirrel riding a chicken. Yes. Okay, I thought it was a cat. It would have been cooler if it was a cat, but it is indeed a squirrel riding a chicken. That's the best. I want to KO like 20 of them so I can auto befriend them. You know what I mean? Like that's that's the snack I want to bring. Does that make sense? And I got this new Jara, which is like this cool looking ice hammer. It's fun. It's fun. I grinded it a couple times. I, got really I don't have anything super effective against Drum, drum Boy. I am appreciating the all stats boost, though. That's kind of fun. The all stats boost that I'm getting from uh, Captain Cinderella, really good. I appreciate you, girl. Let's go. One, two, got a red bean. Oh, we got the quest item, sweet. So that's all we need to pick up. Maybe the little girl lost something and she uh, told us to go get it. I don't know what the quest is, but hey. The squirrel chicken is a uh, cold. Kokorisu? Just like uh, Darisu, right? 
Isn't uh, Darisu the little squirrel from the squirrel yokai that was designed by a kid in the yokai watch contest? All right, here we go. Here we go, six of them on board. What can we get? Please give me the, oh, hey, we got it. That's the item. That's the focus item. And that's straight from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, that middle thing there. We got two of them, I don't even know what that is. But we did get the focus item, which is great. It's like pulling a five star in Fire Emblem Heroes. Good job. It seems to be some sort of shield that uh, apparently it's from Bri uh, Britannia Enchant. If you use it special, it gives you speed up one stage. That's okay, I'm not really gonna use it. It's like getting a five star unit, but you don't have any other five star units to merge onto it. Maybe the little girl lost her dog. Her nature little booger here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so Denise says, uh, in this quest, I think the girl is worried about her dog and couldn't find her. So yada yada, we found her little dog. And what's wrong with you, dog? Why did you scare away your owner? And now you're gonna become my friend. Dang it. Okay, so what are you guys talking about? A mirror shield? Is that what it is? I don't know. I don't know. You guys have to tell me. So little dogs here with her, uh, with her, with its owner. So that's that's excellent. We got some more quests to do, dude. I can do these quests all day. I hope you understand that. Dang it! I think we're we're done with the main quest. Yeah, we did all of chapter sixes. We did all of chapter threes. We did all of chapter two. Oh, we didn't do this one. Oh, we accepted this late. Let's just go do it. This is for, uh, this is for Mama. <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do this quest for Mama Jennifer over here. All right, let's just go do it. It doesn't matter. It's a level chapter two quest. We're gonna go surf on some genies. <laughs> the one with like the gigantic forehead. What is that design? I don't even know. Just don't question it. Uh, okay, so uh, apparently the little dog, Kabeta, uh, wants his owner to eat healthy. Hmm, okay. That's cute. Hey, we got Tartar over here. Come on, Tartar Sauce, what you got? You gonna give us an item? Implying that we're gonna do a 24 hour live stream. Dude, one day. Maybe, maybe like for a celebration of some sort, we'll do like a, a huge live stream. I don't know. Oh, look at me just slice and dice. Yo, this is like a level five version of Monster Hunter. I'm just calling it right now, man. Forget Monster Hunter World, dude. Christine, I saw you with your PlayStation playing on Monster Hunter World. Oh, cool. We, we got, I think we got the focus item right there. <laughs> See the focus item that came out of the, oh, bucketed. Focus item that came out of the chest. Pretty cool. I saw you playing Monster Hunter World. Don't hide it. This is the level five. This is the Yokai Watch. Oh, who the heck are you? Oh, that's Geppetto. <laughs> what? What's Geppetto? What's Geppetto do? His name is not Geppetto though. That's Pinocchio's owner. Oh, Pinocchio wants a fight? I've never had to fight this guy. Well, get on, oh, man. Carbonara. The Carbonaro Effect, your favorite show. <laughs> That's the worst show. <laughs> Raise your hand in the comments if you guys know what that show is. Here's Solosis. Uh, let's get Solosis. Avoid Soul. What was, that? what was I calling him? Let me get out of here. No, I'm not knocking Monster Hunter at all. I love Monster Hunter, trust me. When Monster Hunter Generations came out and that was my first exposure to the, to the franchise, dude, Monster Hunter Generations took a good chunklet out of my life. Just playing that game on 3DS. Trying to get armor, trying to beat up monsters. Oh, dude, it's a really great game. I'm not knocking it by any means. If I had a PlayStation, I would totally buy it. But no, man, we're not about that life. We're playing level five Monster Hunter right here. Azure Striker Gunbolt, that's a good game. I have uh, I've played through that game once. 
was when it first came out. And uh, I met I met with the de developers for Azure Striker Gunvolt, and the developers actually sent me a physical copy of Azure Striker Gunvolt. It was on a Famicom cartridge, and uh, I think it was awesome. So yeah, it was great. No, I love it. I love that. I love that game. But I don't know. It's a little late for that, isn't it? it? Alright. Demon Blast! Oh, dang it. I'm still soapy. Wow, knock him out. Get this fish. And this thing. Got that big level up. Uh, what are we talking about? Honestly, a terrifying monster because it can actually manipulate it when it latches onto your face? What? The little thin paper monster is called Paku? What? And it latches onto your face. Dude, that sounds like a yokai. It sounds like a Tattletail to me. Tattletail latching onto your face and forcing the truth out of you. Like, what kind of manipulation is that? Wait, so that's what I was, I was just supposed to beat up this scorpion? Mama Jenny. Oh, now we got squids. Squid pudding. Again, I forgot to use the experience games. Dang it. We got some awesome level. Oh, look at this baby thing. Wait, what is a squid doing? Or er, scorpion doing here? Alright, we're done, Mama Jenny. I'm out of here. Let's go. They did put it on a legit. Famicom pack, yeah, I gotta go dig through my stuff. I still have it. It had a, a digital eShop code on it, like on the back of it, but it was legit on a Famicom pack, so. I really have to say hi to those guys. I'm, I'm very happy for their game. Their game did very well, Azure Striker Gunvolt. But we got this, we already have this thing. We got it from a chest, randomly. So what are the odds of that? You go in like the first chest, and then you get the focus item? It's cool. And ta-da, we got a second one, so we can merge it together, wonderful. So yeah, we got two of those bows. Uh, you can take a look. Each weapon is slightly different. So if you guys are not native to Japanese language, I would definitely hop open the Google Translate and take a look at the first characteristic and the second characteristic and uh, see if they're any good. Like this one has no characteristics on it. Uh, you can see that little blue text and the green text underneath it, once uh, right underneath that little section there. So yeah, I can easily put these two together and then we can merge them and call it a day. So that's really good. Yeah, and see the cat paw print on it is the brand um, Flying Cat, which is the brand of clothing that I'm wearing. So, hey, we got little scorpion inventor. What's his name? Besides cute. Maybe useful. He's a nature uh, variety, that's cool. Nature attribute. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's good. We're gonna we're gonna fuse that right away, and I'll give you guys a quick tutorial on fusing in case you guys don't know. So when you go over here to this menu, we can see whenever you want to level up a weapon. Ooh, I got three of these bad boys. Yeah, I would. I think I'm gonna do this one. This one's got a charge up, so I like this one the best. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm going to use this one as a material source, and we're gonna use four of these little potions in order to get it leveled up to 100%. And then it's going to evolve to a level two, being a little bit stronger. So it's going to be 95 power. And since we're actually sitting on one more, we might as well do the next one. So grab your level two. You can see it changed in color. Very cute. Grab your level two. We're going to sacrifice one of the other ones on it. We're going to throw a golden nugget because it's worth five points. And the pink bow is now going to turn into a yellow bow. And it's at level 100 power. So that's super cool. We'll use it whenever we need to, right? I've already got this maxed out uh, staff. So, I don't know, those of you guys that are farther in the game, where do I get like this maxed out material from? Because once you fuse it five times, you can't fuse it anymore unless you have that one material. So, it's good. All right, so that was good. We did that quest and uh, we're good. We're good. Uh, Scorpion, or Sco Sco Scorpion? I don't know his name is, Scor Scorpion? He's a strong guy. He likes us because we're a strong guy and therefore we get a snack. All right, that makes sense. All right, so yeah, I think our snacks are pretty good. 
I really like her. She's pretty bulky. She's got very good attack stat of 178. Yeah, she's pretty decent. She'll do some work for us. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our next quest. Dude, this game is so good. Now that we've gone, uh, gotten past the language barrier a little bit. Yo, what? Hold on, we got more miracle quests. Oh, come on, game. What are you doing to me? Check this out. You get this crazy looking perfume thing. I don't know what it does. Why would I spend my miracle points on that? But we can grind on that level. But I really just want to grind on Medusa all day. Or actually, I can grind on this for the miracle points. Anyway, I digress. Uh, yeah, so moving on. I think we're set with all the main story quests. Uh, they're all clear. I don't know if there's anyone else I need to like look around for. So let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the area and see what's going on. Uh. Okay. Uh, if you guys want to point me in any direction, if you guys may have seen some. Oh gosh, it's a troll under the bridge. No, it's just the Ant Man. Let's go do Ant Man's quest. You guys ever see that movie Ant Man? Give Cinderella some food so she can get stronger. Uh, B-Man, you're gonna have to elaborate on that. That's a very vague statement you just typed over there. All right, so let's go and do this next quest that we accepted from Ant-Man. All right, so Ant-Man, we can get a very cool looking lance. Let's jump in, we're gonna click okay. We're gonna auto, uh... Wait, what does NG stand for? What? What do you mean, NG? Hold on, why can't I take this quest? All right. I don't think I've ever seen Ant-Man either, but um, yeah, you guys are gonna have to let me know. Like, not good, that's no good. <laughs> NG stands for no good, maybe because we haven't beaten chapter seven yet? Like, why is it not available? I understand that it's not there, but like, why? I don't get it. That's the one of the quests that has a dress code? Oh, what is that little green exclamation mark in the top corner? What did that mean? Is something new on my fairy pond? Did something change? Uh, it needs you to have your appearance clothing as work style? What's considered work style? Oh man, like do I have anything that's work style? Dang, come on, that's like a language barrier here. Like, what's gonna be, uh, I don't know what work style is. What does that even mean? Okay, so this is all my, my hats. Oh, is that what the different colors mean? Okay, so the colors uh, above the name, maybe like brown, the white, the green. Yeah, maybe those are particular styles. I don't know. Menuing, again. Uh, and then these, maybe these can be different styles. And then good luck telling me what coloration. Like, what's the difference? Why is that gold named? What is? Why is the, the font red? Why is the font light blue? Why is the font brown or purple? Or light blue or anything like that? The helmet is work style, yes. Okay, so we'll put on the helmet. Maybe, is it because it's the brown text with the three characters on there and like the platinum logo? If that's the case, then uh, I'll take a look. Platinum logo, maybe this could be work style? That's not platinum logo though. And yes, the brown text, done, see? It's inferencing, man. Let's go work style. Wait a second, that's not work style. I can't do it. What are you talking about? That did not work. Brown text did not work. All right, come on. What other brown text? This one? Oh, accessories, dope. 
Here we go. We'll wear this dumb thing. Okay, so now we should be work style. Hey, we're work style. Why does it matter? You stupid ant man. <laughs> like what? What does it matter? I have to wear something. That's so awesome. But no, thank you for for enlightening enlightening me on that one. And I didn't auto equip my weapons, so maybe I can visit the iPo over here. Where's the iPo? Oh, there's no iPo. Dang. Oh yeah, there is. Here we go. So maybe I can auto equip these. Will they allow it? I didn't auto equip my weapon, so yeah. No, they're not gonna allow it. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> Stupid Ant Man. What is Ant Man's name, Denise? If you know it. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I don't like drum dude either. Oh yeah, that's super effective. We got luck with that. That's a times two. That's a level two. All right, here we go. I'm gonna grab the 200 bucks on the floor. We'll take it. Oh, big chest right over this way. Dragon of some sort. Oh, button presses. No, we don't like that here. We don't. We don't take those. Whoa, check that out. That jumped right out of the chest. Well, you know what I should have done? I should have found something that's work style, and I should have found something that was like, uh, like feng shui about it. Remember I went in this room, and the online person took their treasure chest, and I didn't get mine? Because I got too lucky? Oh man, raise your hand if you remember that. I got heated. I got heated, man. You wait. You wait until everyone's ready to go before you exit out of that. You got it? <laughs> oh my gosh. I could have had a legendary jar on one of those. How could you? Those people indeed fit the definition of That's right. Oh, Christina, you weren't there for that. It was my previous side questing, uh, when we were side questing chapters four and five. Uh, we were just doing some online stuff, and whenever you're online with people, the first person to leave out of a room uh, will automatically take everyone with. And uh, I was I was collecting my treasures. You know, it takes a couple seconds to collect it. But I got really lucky with one, and I got like the double dip power up, where Princess Melora gives you like twice as many for one chest. But there's a little cutscene that happens, so naturally it takes a little bit uh, of a longer time. So I got the double dip, and before I can get like the next chest, I got a second double dip, which was like super lucky, right? And then the dude exits out the door because he already picked up his three treasure chests. And I didn't get to pick up any of my five treasure chests. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go pick up that chest over here because someone's yelling about it. See, this is double dip right here. Princess Malora gives you double dip. And you see, oh, dude, that's sweet. You see how long that took though? Oh my god, that was heated. Oh my god, and oh man. I was befriending, I was in the middle of befriending one time, and dude just left already? I'm like, come on. I understand, yeah, you can't see what I'm doing, but like, at least ask, alright? Dude is bad. He's bad. But, uh, I know that when, um, when Denise and I are playing, like, Yokai Watch Busters 2, like, Denise and I, we would play that game until, like, 2 in the morning sometime. It would be 2 in the morning for me, but it's, like, 12 for you. We'd be playing that so late at night, and, uh, like, she's courteous about that. Like, hey, you done? You ready to go? And I'm like, alright, cool, let's go. Best game. Big hit, gone. Yo, this bully! What are you doing here? Alright, I need to get these little nature guys out of here. Big hit. Not a two hit. Ooh, you guys don't like this bow and arrow, huh? Death bow and arrow. Oh, that's a Pikmin! Yo, that's a Pikmin! <laughs> a Pikmin with a nose! Yuck! Do you see this design right now? That's the new unreleased Pikmin from Pikmin uh, 4. Someone 
we'll get this demon guy out of here. Thank you. <laughs> B-Man says I uh, unlocked the three genie emojis for online play. Good, man. That's the best. <laughs> Is the Pikmin's lost cousin? Uh, man... Mandragora? Sure. Alright, let's beat up these rock monsters and Ant-Man himself. New enemies we have not seen. They're all super effectively weak against this. Big hit for all three of them. Ooh, beautiful. And super effectively weak against this one. Big hit for all three of them again. Triple KO! We're done! And now we just fight Ant-Man. Come here. Oh, you got some more boys? Oh, I thought we were really done. It's like a spread attack. It's pretty decent. We got some real good super effective weapons against these guys. And you can see the uh, the blue starburst uh, that comes off of it. The blue starburst. What did I get? I didn't see it. Like a rope of some sort? Dang it. <laughs> I thought we were done after KOing those three. But no, this place is made of these guys. Here, I gotta, I gotta line this up. Here we go. One, two. Boom, boom. Oh, come on. It took a turn. I'm not gonna get exhausted. These guys are of the nature variety too. These little rock golems. Yeah, I didn't see what was the th great thing that came out of the chest there, but... We had the right weapons for the job, and that's why going out there, finding all these weapons, going to the store, buying the weapons, so you have all the type advantages against the enemies, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing, and we're making that big money. We got 50k already, and now we got a new staff. If we're lucky enough, we got six chests this time around. One, two, three, four. Oh, come on, we got. I don't even know what that spray is. A Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild rune. What is that? What? I got three of these things. Denise, please enlighten me as to what the effects of this thing is. It's obviously one of those equips that replaces your water bottle, but... And I didn't even use my cat spray! I didn't use it, I keep forgetting. Dang it. Oh, lame. Alright, Ant-Man. Sorry, guys. Alright, well, he's in love with something. We definitely didn't need the chips. Reuniting loved ones. Is that what it is? Reuniting the loved ones quest? That's what we were doing? That's cute. That's very cute. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I think I think we're good with quests in chapter six. There was like, what, three or four of them? We reunited those two. Uh, I went inside the department store. There was nothing there. I went on all three levels of the department store. I went to the back alley. Yeah, I think chapter six quests are done. I want to say that they are done. Actually, let me go inside this hotel one more time. Genies, you're just chilling. Do we do like the Gobson thing? Like, is Gob done? Yeah, we're done with that. Okay. Yeah, I think we're set. Like, Vanilla doesn't need anything. I got this baby cat. What What did that little pop-up say? What is this saying right now? Like, what? Why is it telling me to do that? Is it saying, hey, go back, get back on track <laughs> with your actual quests? No, but yeah, we're all set with this, so I think we're good. Trust me, I want to go and get this axe, like, badly. I just want to grind this level again. But I got to get these nasty clothes off. <laughs> I got to get these nasty clothes off. They're not, like, feng shui at all. I'm gonna wear, um, I'm gonna wear this little beret. And I'm gonna wear, uh, this, yep, because it's got the two, see the two little sparkles on the side? And then it's boosting me up from a 1.0 to a 1.4. And then now if I get three of these, which is one of the little cat shields, or, yeah, one of the little cat rings, 
I'll just wear this cat ring randomly. And now I'm at a 2.0. I'm at this big 2.0. Better luck stat in the game. Better drops. All right. So I think it's ready to go online. Uh, you guys ready? Let's uh, let's go online and see what's up. I think I'm set. I don't know if there's any other quests, but we're uh, we're ready. Oh, how about we make some new clothes? Uh, yeah, I could go for it. Yeah, maybe I might find a new hat or something. Let's do this. Let me stand in the middle of the street, right in front of this bus, and let me just craft some no some more clothes. Let's do that. All right, so clothes crafting. I didn't really go into too much of it in um, in the Let's Play episodes because I want to focus on the game. But yeah, we got some stuff. Oh, I can make this. I don't think I have this. I will absolutely make this. Fairy Electronics, little awesome headband. Uh, if you press the Y button, you can sort. So you can sort by things that are okay, meaning you have all the materials for it. So I can absolutely get one of these bad boys. So let's do it. I'm going to do the rare material first. We got three of them. Get this brand new headband. Who knows? Uh, these little ones, you can see on the bottom here, it's worth one point versus five. You need five in order to fill it up. So I'm going to use the fiver. Uh, we need seven, so I'm going to use a fiver, and then we're going to use a couple of these bad boys to fill up that one. Okay, easy peasy. And we need six of these bad boys, so we're going to use a fiver here, and we're going to use a one. And ladies and gentlemen, we have now crafted a cool-looking headband. The stats are garbage compared to what our strong one is, but maybe there's some feng shui fo uh, floating around on there. And then I honestly have every single one of these hats minus this one because I don't have that drill material. Nor do I know where to get that drill material, so... Nor do I have this one. But that cream material, that's the ultimate cream that drops off the recolor of Kraken. If you're lucky enough to get it. So, yeah, I haven't had that. That little fairy looking thing, I've never seen that little item. No idea where I can get an apple. A horseshoe. These are other rare material drops. Probably boss drops or something, so that's pretty interesting. All right, so we can get this Denton brand shirt. I already have it. I don't need to craft it. Uh, I can, yeah, let's let's sort by okay. Yo, check out this tux. Yo, check that out. That looks great. Oh man, I'm totally crafting it. All right, what, we got this one, and we got this awesome looking tux. Oh, you weren't kidding, Denise. Dude. And 6357 stat spread. That's yeah, okay. One's for uh, male and one's for uh, female. You can see the little M. Uh, and the F over there. So I'll absolutely craft the tux, dude. Let's go. We got these little Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild runes. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to... This is worth five. So we're going to throw two more. Okay, so the drill is dropped by a monster named Anubis Soldier. And it's a dog that has drills for hands. Okay, I will, I will keep an eye out for a dog with drills for hands. Sure. <laughs> that sounds crazy. I saw a bumblebee with drills for hands, if that makes uh, any difference. All right, so now we got the snazzy tux. I'm really, ho oh, dude, that looks beautiful. Dude, the clothing in this game is good. All right, all right, so that's good. So we got that tux. Uh, I don't need the female version. We can get this clown outfit, I guess. I mean, there's no hurt in getting it. What is this? Hold on, I can get this one? Hold on, check that out. Oh, that's for females, though. Is it? No. No, this is male. Or this is uh, unisex. That looks great. Oh, man. I can get a lot of stuff. Yo, let's just craft it all, man. All right. As long as it's the male version, I'll craft it. Like this clown outfit? Whatever. Let's go. All right. So we're going to craft that. Uh, let's see. We're going to do five points here. And all these little items that I have on board, it's just uh, the stuff that we pick up. Those little uh, diamonds that we collect on the ground, that ends up turning into these things. So just in case you guys are new to the game, I like to explain it so you guys are a little bit less intimidated about getting this game and playing along with it. All right, so we got a clown outfit. Don't really care. Uh, I like getting the outfits because simply put, uh, they can potentially help you out with a little bit of feng shui in the game. Or uh, trends. How about we call it trends? I'm a little uh, biased to Animal Crossing's uh, luck-based thing. All right, so I don't know. We got this, like, wolf costume or whatever, but that's a, apparently a rare drop. Uh, we're going to do these little blueberries. I'm almost done with blueberries, by the way. Like, we need more of those. 
How much is the game? It's a, it's a regular retail game, uh, but when it came down to it, like the way I had to buy it, since my credit card is not international, I had to go to uh, a website and purchase Japanese eShop codes. And they only sell them in 5,000 yen and 3,000 yen in order to get it. And it was like, what, 6,000 yen for the game? Equated to about like 90 bucks out the door. But I have leftover funds for Yokai Watch 4, so I'm gonna be okay with that. All right, here we go. Back to the top. Let's see what we can get. Okay, I have that, I have that. We talked about these, got this. Ooh, I don't have this pink one. That looks pretty sharp. We got the Medusa eye for it. Yeah, I might as well craft it. Let's spend that big Medusa eye. And I don't think I have anything from uh, Pefany at all. So maybe it'll match a trend one day. Okay, so this one is worth five. It's a silver card, sweet, done. And there we have it, awesome pink shirt. Ta-da, that actually looks very sharp. I think I could pull that off in real life. What do you guys think? Thumbs up. If I could pull off a pink shirt in real life, I don't think so. I think my complexion's too pale to pull off a pink shirt in real life. <laughs> this is not gonna happen. Remember when I crafted two of these things? <laughs> All right, I don't have this thing. Um, but hey, it doesn't hurt. Is that a male version? Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy it, let's go. No? <laughs> Christy has a thumbs down? How could you? Oh, I'm hurt. I'm hurt, my feelings. A bottle cap in order to craft this armor. Rupees? What are you talking about rupees, dude? All right, we're gonna craft that. That's a working gear. That worked out. I don't have one of those. It's garbage as far as its stats, but it doesn't matter. I'm all about that fungi shui. Hey, Michelle, thanks for coming on board. A little, little pop-up's gonna happen in a little bit. Oh, let's get going. Oh, it's good, thank you. That feels good. Okay, so yeah, we got a lot of, there we go. Michelle Tan 101, welcome Michelle in the chat. Hello, Michelle, thanks for coming. You are so awesome. Yes, that's so good. We're close, we gotta get to that 300 in order to get a new emoji. So here we are, I don't have this outfit. This is actually Flying Cat 2. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna spend that ultimate cream, remember? How many guys, raise your hand in the comments if you guys remember where the ultimate cream, moisturizing cream came from. <laughs> uh, that's funny. We use that ultimate moisturizing cream in order to get this blue track jacket. <laughs> What's banana boy? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, so we got that one. Uh, I think we're, I, dude, we're good. We got a lot of stuff though, and like getting the clothing is fun. All right, this is a male's version. I'll pick it up, sure. Just why not? Is there a button to like press to like allow all of them to like take it all? Hey, there is, oh my gosh. I hope it uses them optimally. I'm just gonna trust that they use them optimally. All right, so I got that one. Uh, I don't have this one. So... Optimal? Like, because if it shortcuts and uses a five when it doesn't need a five, I hope it, I hope it does it okay. So anyway, that was pretty fun. I just accidentally found that out, great. So here's another vest, cool. We'll use a little bit of a kelp. Go for it, boom! Using all of our materials, why sit on them? They're clothing crafting. And who knows, you can change up your clothing every single day. All right, so I'm back to, back to square one on what I don't have. I don't have a lot of Q-Laura stuff. Okay, I don't have this. That actually looks pretty sharp. Uh, do I have a Medusa eye for it? Oh, I got plenty. I'm made of Medusa eyes. Let's go. <sighs> Excellent. Okay, I don't have this one. It's female. Don't need it. Uh, yeah, we'll take this one. Sure. 
Q-Loris, little squirrel thing, electric plug, go. And here's my fear, right? Hear me out. I'm hoping that the materials that I'm using on these really low end, these really low end outfits, I'm hoping that I won't need them for like higher end outfits. Because that's gonna be really bad if I'm like wasting all these Medusa eyes uh, when I could be saving them for the real deal when it comes to uh, getting more crafting options. I hope that's not the case. But you can see over here that this one has a different color Medusa eye. Uh, but I did end up KOing one of the recolors of the boss, so I did get one of those drops. So that looks pretty great. And I have to remember to change out of these clothes because uh, I accidentally pressed A and I have them equipped now. And they're just garbage clothes. And what is that, a walnut? Sure, dude. All of these clothes. <laughs> We're just buying clothes. Well, it's a little bit more fun than me doing this off screen. You know, I get to hang out with you guys. We get to talk about all these clothes. What's your favorite so far? How about that? Let's open that conversation to you guys. What's your favorite piece of clothing that you've seen on screen so far? Do you like this little sporty shirt with the green pants? Would you ever wear it in real life? Does Abdallah wear anything besides a blue track jacket in real life? I don't know. I don't know. Would, would you wear this in real life? A pink puffy jacket? Yeah, dude, go for it. I like the tux. I like the tux a lot. I agree with you, whoever's saying tux. Uh, that's a female version. Um, I guess. I don't have the priest outfit. Is this the male priest? Yeah, let's go. Sure. I kind of invested a little bit into it off screen, but like, I'm like, why do I need this for? And this little sage outfit? Sure. Okay, I think we're set. <clears throat> that's all of them. I need to change into some better feng shui here. Uh, this is real garbage. I need like the best stats. Where is my best stat clothing? I forget. I got like something in the hundreds. Here we go. 97 to 123. Do you know how much this costed me? I don't know if I made this or if I bought this straight up, but that's some real good clothing right there. And then the hat. I think that's my best hat. Oh, check this out. I got a hat that gives me a little bit more, uh, a little bit more feng shui today. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's cool. It's cute. All right, and then this one, maybe we got a level three. Maybe we got, oh, yo, check out this level three right now. Hold on. Yo, we are trendy. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Put it back on, dude. <laughs> you can't be, uh, you can't be like that. Yo, check how trendy we are. We are at a 2.4 trendy. Dang. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all right. Is there actually an inventory space in this game? I hope not. That would be very bad. No, but I, look at that trendiness. I'm only missing like a hat accessory for two more of those and then I can have 3.0 trendy. Dang, dang. Yo, we got some really good chances of getting some great stuff. So with that being said, let's go online, baby. Let's find some good peeps. Yolanda, you still there? Let's go. I'm gonna go into some quests and I hope you're uh, leveled enough to come. All right, here we go. I gotta get this quest going before like some uh, low levels come in here. All right, what were we trying today? We're trying to do uh, this. I don't care what it is, but what do you mean? No one's in my room, why? I don't, okay, please, Denise, Yolanda, please tell me why. Why can't I go into these? I don't understand, why? Please, why am I not able to? I don't understand, I'm, I'm not gonna grind. I'm not gonna grind this level a hundred times with a bunch of online strangers. What's up, B-Man? Is it because of B-Man in the room? Yo, B-Man, get out of my room if you're not ready. Yolanda's here too. Yo. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna exit out. B-Man, sit out one. I need to figure this out. Sit out one for a second. I'm gonna figure it out and then you guys can come right back in. We'll do a couple Medusa grinds if we need to, but let me figure this out. Because it was working on the previous stream. I think it, it means like who's in the room with you. There we go, see? Like you have to have a certain treasure rank in order to join into this room. 
So like B man, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, dude, you gotta you gotta come on board, you gotta grind up your level, man, and then come back and come grind with us. Yeah, your B man's a little bit too low leveled. Yolanda, come on in, let's go. That's it. Well, B man's in now. So how does that work? Raise your hand. See if you can raise your hand. Or B man's gone. I'm, I'm up for figuring it out. I think that I, when I make the room and I put the high level quest on there. So Yolanda's in here at level 66. Dang. Whew. Whew. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, and now you can try joining B man if you're playing, <clears throat> if you're able to play. Try to join us. Let me know. This is all experimental. Uh, so raise your hand if you're ready. Here, I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> give you a cookie. <laughs> I got 25 of these cookies. You can have one. Uh, those are like friend cookies. I, I don't, I think they just raise the stats of your friends. I don't know, I, I was honestly gonna sell them. But B-Man seems to be here. You guys wanna raise your hand? How did you do a waving emoji? Or like, how did you actually wave? Is that a thing? Like you can do action? <laughs> okay, nice. How do you do those emoticons? Hey. All right, no more emojis. Let's get this show on the road. There you go. Hey. Good job. <laughs> those are mine. All right. Hey. Come on, don't waste time. What? Like, how did you dance like that? I am pressing L or R. Oh, are these the things? Oh, there you go. Oh, beautiful. I didn't know you could get, you can, dude, you can make little stuff. Oh, I'm gonna buy him, dude. Yo, B-Man, let's go, man. You're wasting time. He says, yeah, I can't join. Oh, then you gotta, you gotta get booted, dude. All right, if you can't join, then um, go level up some. See, now our other, okay, we're set. Let's go. Let's go. B-Man's gonna level up off screen. We're gonna join him next time. I'm gonna optimize my equipment. Sure. Please raise your hand. I didn't mean to take so long. Let's go. Hey. Where's our other dude? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Smack you left and right. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I didn't know there was like actual action emojis. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Hey. Yo, a level 13 can't come with, so he left. I think it's just gonna be uh, Yolanda and I. I don't know. Like, B Man can't do it, he doesn't have a rank high enough. Um, yeah, you know, I think I think we're just gonna duo it. Let's go, that Fortnite duos, let's go. Oh, oh, 34, raise your hand. Hey! Uh, what does that say? I really have to Google Translate these little, little speech bubbles. Yeah, we got another friend, let's go! All right, side questing with people online. Now the game really gets fun. All right, here we go, Monster Hunter, level five's version. Let's play. Okay, so that's good information. Thanks, B-Man. We figured it out. You can't go in side quests unless you have a, a big enough rank. So we gotta kill 30 enemies. Oh, great. It's a great opportunity to spray some cat spray on you. Big hit, gone. Oh, you got a nice little level up there, huh? 
must be nice. Little cat! Hit you with an ice cream cone, little cat. Enjoy it. Who is this big boy? Whoa, someone got a one-hit KO on it. What? Holy moly. I don't know who that was, but someone one-shotted it. Yikes. Can I play two guys? Oh, I got poisoned. I tried to dodge out of the way. It didn't work. So there goes one of my requirements, my achievements of not getting poisoned in the map. Oh, you see that perfect dodge? Tell me you saw that perfect dodge. Oh, I'll do another one. No, no. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Alright, I'm gonna go... We gotta kill 30 of these guys. Alright, so I'm gonna... Oh, what? You got knocked out by this cat? Sorry, dude. Whoop. Nope. No! <laughs> oh, I think he said thanks. Oh my gosh, wow, this little cat on a chicken. Or was that, um, squirrel on a chicken? Yeah, that's a rough one. Done. You want some? Whoa, someone had a, like, a level three against this guy. This guy. All right, Hestu's gift. Oh, our butt. <laughs> That's my uh, Cinderella getting rocked there. Okay. Oh, is that the sleeping status you guys were talking about? Whoa, weird. I've never seen the sleep status effect before. This is the squirrel on a chicken. Nice, good job team, way to go. All right, if you guys are ready, go for it. I know I'm collecting a couple of little things here. It doesn't matter, you guys can leave if you want. Actually, I'm really close. All right, go. See, now when you're ready, you raise your hand. It's courtesy, right? Go, dude. Everyone else ready? Blue is just waiting for us. Oh, 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 Blue says he's ready. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, uh, their other buddy there. Okay, so we're all here, so let's go. See, that's teamwork making the dream work. Courtesy, man. Learn to play online. Cool, dude. All right. Was that the quest? Oh, that was the quest. It was super easy. All right. We just beat up dudes. We got 2,500 gold. 27. And now we have a chance of getting a really cool item. I can play this game forever. All right. Get this thing. B-Man, don't worry about wasting time. We, we got good knowledge. We, we got some data off of that. Just level up and then come back. Your homework is to get to level 30 by the next time I stream one of these, okay? Got it. Use, use all your stars that you're holding onto in your inventory. All right, that's some good money right there. Those earrings, that's those sell for some pretty decent change, but I kind of wanted the focus item there. Okay, that was good. Good job, team. That was great. You guys want to play again? Where's my, uh, where's my hearts? You guys get Melora for that one. Oh yeah, whoa, dude, this guy. Check out this guy, right? Oh, we got Alvis. Oh, we got a level seven. Sorry, dude. And okay, so Nuni, uh, Yolanda, how did you get that little, like, star next to your name? How did this guy get that? And how do I choose another one without, now that this low level guy's on our team, like, we can't because he's in this room. That's kind of weird. Like, I'm not able to take the quest on because Alves is in the room. That's unfortunate. So the only way that I, I can't boot him, unless there is a way of booting, please tell me. 
But like I can't do my quest because he's in the room. So I'm gonna exit out. Or no, maybe he left. No, he didn't. Sorry, Yolanda, you can join me again. It's just, I, sorry. <laughs> it's just, I, I'm on a mission, man. I'm not gonna play Medusa 20 times. Uh, yeah, so if that was any of you guys in the chat, forgive me. Just level up, come play again later. Um, I think that, hold on. I think that in the options here, like look, hold on, I'll exit out. I'll close the room. So Yolanda and Denise, those of you guys that are watching, please let me know, is there a, is there some sort of menuing option in these four that prohibits people under my level from coming in? That's kind of what I want to know. I don't know what the first option is. I haven't jumped that into Google Translate. The second option could be okay or not. Like, what are these things? Like, do I have to post? What is this? I don't know what the second option is. I don't, I don't know what any of these menuing is. So you can choose a quest in that menu. Okay, that's great. So if I choose this quest, then people will know what I'm aiming for and they will not be able to do it. Okay, that's great. Um, yeah. I don't know what the limit is on that rank. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that on. I don't know what the third or the fourth little menus do. It's like the, the second one and the and the third one are like a yes or no kind of a thing. But anyway, we're gonna do this and go from there. So thanks for coming. Hey, here we go. We got someone in. We're waiting on Noonie. How's a level 15 in here? How does that work? Anyone else coming? No? Good night, thanks for coming, Denise. Thanks for helping out. As usual, everyone say good night. All right, let's do this. I think, I think we can go. There's a level 15 in the group. I'm kind of worried about it. Which one's a slapping one? Oh, that guy left. All right, Noonie, let's go. <laughs> what are we waiting for? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, here we go. We got some people in here. We got a 35, we got a 37, we got 66. Let's go. And I'm accompanied with my favorite Cinderella. Gallon water bottle for the win. I don't know if it is a gallon, but it is your daily allotment of water. As you guys can see. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't optimize my weaponry. Dang. Whoa, someone has ultra effective weapons on him. I saw those like lightning bolts come out of him. Oh, we got Toad. Ooh. I like rolling through these things. It's fun. All right, so yeah. Here, you know what? I need to... Ice cream cone weapon for the win. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, he's biting his time. Okay. Done. Get him out of here. Drop something for me. Thank you. Big grumpy king right over here. Going 
on. Oh. Why am I wasting my time fighting these guys? Someone just already left. They're just like, all right, let's go. <laughs> When's the next time we're gonna stream this online? Um, I don't know, maybe sometime next week. Nintendo Labo is gonna be taking over my channel, so I really have to focus on that starting, uh, starting this Friday. So yeah, Snack World is just kind of like supplemental stuff. Like I'm not commissioned to do any kind of work with it. I just love the franchise. I love level five. So I'm playing it in hopes that uh, we get some localization efforts. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of where we're at. So Nintendo Labo will absolutely be commissioned. So it'll be fun. Fun time. These little mummies are strong. Oh, dude. Change my weapon, please. I don't know what they're saying right there. Okay, so here's an opportunity for befriending. I'm gonna go try to snap that picture really quick. Oh, befriending opportunity. Where is it? Oh, it's somewhere. No, it's gone. I missed it. What is this old beard looking dude? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Get my girl up. Cat, cat! Oh man. Okay, that was rough. <laughs> oh, nice! Ah, uh, King Ghost! Two King Ghosts! What's better than one King Ghost? Oh man, befriending a King Ghost! And taking his money! Oh man, whatever, we're just gonna... I don't know if he's even a good snack. Oh my gosh, he's a really good snack. Dang! Hurry up, my battery. He got it, nice. Oh. Woo, yo, we got King Ghost. Nice, that's good, man. Hold on, I'm not ready, don't go yet. I got something big out of that. Yo, I got, I got the sword, I got the focus item, heck yeah. All right, dude, I'm good. You found the exit. I'm, I'm sad here, just leave. Go, dude. If you found the exit, leave. Make like a tree and leave. Thank you. See, there we go. See, that's communicating. <laughs> Nonverbal communication. Perfect. Oh man, what? No, forget that. Dude. No, don't do it. Don't go. I'm gonna say, isn't there like a no option? <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I think there was a no. You know it gets serious when you have to say no in Japanese or in English in a Japanese game. <laughs> it's funny. All right, I need that chest in the corner. That's the reason why I'm going over here. I have a 2.2.4 luck stat right now. Dang it. Okay, I can say yes now. You guys can go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Ka. 
I don't think I have anything super effective against a little fire kitty here. Very strong. All right, I can leave at any given time. Uh, I'm gonna tell everyone that we can leave. Hey. <laughs> you guys wanna go? I don't see any other treasures on the map. One. Two. Piggy, let's go! Okay, we're down. Yo, this is really good. This is really good. This is working well. We got some good people on board. Let's play. I don't know what kind of enemy we're gonna be facing, but I got my genie ready. I can become the genie. All right, you guys wanna see some genie? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys want some genie action. G comma knee. Oh, against this guy. Okay, okay. I don't think I have any like, ultra effective against him. Ow. Holy moly, I just took that big hit. Arrow rain. Big hit on him. Oh, I thought I'd get that. Okay, that's the perfect dodge I was looking for. There you go, I had to taunt after it. Oh, dang it, I got exhausted. I wasn't paying attention to that. Oh! Yo, big stun! Help me! Come on, Cinderella, heal me! Whoa, whoa, how did you stun him like that? Oh, when he was charging up, huh? So I hear you like ice cream. Come here. Oh, good job. GG's team. You guys did a lot of work. I didn't realize that he had a little hidden weak spot when he was charging up there. But we got uh, we got the drop. We got some pretty cool uh, materials from beating him. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that we kind of understand a little bit better how online works. Beautiful. I did forget to use the spray often. I really gotta get on that, man. Uh, we'll go into post-game. I at least want to do the chapters, so we'll see. Alright, so I did get the cat sword. I did get it in a random chest. I was really lucky. I think it's because of that awesome uh, gear that I'm wearing. I'm at a 2.4 swag. Swag meter. My swag meter is at 2.4 right now out of 3, which is really good. So, check out these nice things. Lollipops are garbage, but those are some rare uh, clothing materials. We'll take them. So we did get the cat sword. Happy about that. Very cool quest. GG's everyone. Uh, let's go to another one. Let's do another one. Uh, let's do this one for the fairy bow. Yeah, all right. Yo, we got some good people. I kind of wish we had a third person. I kind of wish we had a third person. We and asking you shall receive. Let's go. We got a third person. Maybe a level 25 can do it. I don't know. <laughs> Give me a hug. What is that? All right. We doing this? Raise your hand, boy. Oh no, he couldn't do it, so he left. There we go. I think we're gonna go. I'm gonna call it. We're gonna go. And let's have some fun. Yo, online quest, man. Online. Best game. Are we gonna live stream tomorrow? Yeah, we're probably gonna do chapter seven tomorrow. Uh, Denise is working on the notes for that so that we can uh, understand what the game's about. So yeah, it's fun, it's fun. Oh, I didn't, oh man, I keep forgetting to optimize my equipment. The little dude. Big uppercut. Oh, I'm gonna take this guy. Some big, super effective damage on him. I did two of the six hit combos and he was gone. So that was pretty great. Move on. 
Damn. Oh, yeah, you're saving this one for me, huh, guys? All right. Gone. Make him do 360s. Oh, nice. We've got the, um, that was like a little dragon cookie. The little waffle there. I actually haven't used one yet, but maybe I'll use one the next time. If you use a dragon cookie before you jump into a dungeon, you can get a boost in experience points. So remind me, please, before we start the next dungeon crawl, to eat one of those cookies. I'm not doing any work against these guys. I'm out. Our teammate also. Oh, that's me. That's, damn, that's my Cinderella. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, those little dragon cookies. We gotta go eat those little waffle things. I'm gonna eat some right now. Dude, we're doing so much work against these guys. Alright, whatever. The wolves are weak against this toy hammer. Oh, dude, you got one shot at him, it looked like. All right, are we good here? I still have my experience boost going on right now. Like those flowers by my head. We got 10 more guys. I'm gonna go and knock out this bolt of them. Wow, what was that? Someone's got like crazy magic. Spray the cat spray on me. Here we go, cat spray. I don't like this whip guy at all. He's very strong. What is that weird, awesome light effect attack? Besides awesome. All right, here we go. Little piggy, Isabella. Oh, it, it looks like an absorption attack of sorts. Hmm. All right, there's a little baby ice cream. <laughs> a little baby ice cream. <laughs> what do you guys know about little baby's ice cream? All right, so I think I was doing pretty well with using and remembering my cat spray for experience points. But I want to use that dragon cookie next time. I'm gonna try it. Cat spray sounds terrible and it throws me off every time I hear it. Like, that's like if you got your cat on the counters, you like spray him. Tss, tss. <laughs> Get off the table. Get off the table, Rocco. That cat lives on the table nowadays. Okay, fairy boat time. Whoa, horn? Horn? Fairy bow! Got the focus item! Sweet! Nice, we got Cupid's bow, that's awesome. It's just another thing that's gonna be super effective against some enemies when we want to uh, get it going. I'm happy about that, that's really good. All right, that was amazing. Good job, team. Let's take a look, what other ones we got? Oh, we got some lips on the Kraken. Oh my gosh, Kraken battle's gonna be tough. You guys can handle it? I lose against Kraken battle every time. So I'm actually gonna switch out one particular item. I don't necessarily want the um, the juice, like that green leaf tea, don't need that. I need some regular stuff. Give me my healing. All right, we in? I think we're in, Kraken battle. Yeah, the bow looked pretty cool. I'm excited for that. Uh, oh, I was gonna use some food, right? The dragon cookie, Abdallah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I ate the dragon cookie. I am also going to, uh, whoop, no, 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 no. Um, I think I can give cookies, right? Boy. Here you go, dude. And 
you can have a cookie too. Ah, oh, dang, I gave that guy two cookies. Yo, you cookie hog. I'm trying to give you one. I don't want to give that guy a hundred cookies. There you go. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the cookies do, but I think the cookies give like a stat boost for the particular dungeon. Yo, if you have any, um, if you guys have any cookies, man, throw a cookie at me. Yo, hook it up. Hook those cookies up. Don't be stingy. That's the only time where you can use them is online. It's kind of funny. So here we go. I think we're set. Let's do this. Let's go king. B-Man, if you got information on that shadow side, let me know. Tweet at me. Oh! Yeah! We got the focus item in the first chest! Yo, that's what I'm talking about. That 2.4 swag. Man, focus item in the first chest. I don't even know what those lips do. Let's just get out of here. Focus item in the first chest. That's pretty good. I wish it was like a super strong weapon though. All right, those of you guys who are native Japanese speaker, you're gonna have to tell me what those lips do. <laughs> that was pretty cool though. All right, I'm trying to get the heck out of Dodge. Like, I don't want to do this. I want to beat the Kraken. I want to get out of here. We got the focus item. I got bucketed. There's a dragon. There's a minion. Oh, I got to touch the stone! <gasps> about to die. Heal me! Thank you! Alright, come on, let's go, let's go. I got some sort of... Okay, I'm getting out of here. Sorry, guys. We gotta go. Is that, like, bacteria? I think I got the bacteria effect. Oh, that's not good. Where's everyone else? Did everyone else leave? Oh no, we're here. I just spread this to everyone. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what the cure for this is. We ready? Yeah, it looks like we're all ready. Yeah, so some sort of bacteria virus status effect? I'm honestly not sure, but I'm slowly dying. Oh, and the only way to get rid of it is to get another status effect, right? Okay, I'm about to die. Can someone... Oh, I died to that bacteria or something like that. No clue. I'm, uh, I guess... Heal me? Heal me, girl? What are you doing? Heal me! That's a big minion! <laughs> What's the name of the minions in that movie? Like Bob? Thank you. Some good healing. Decent healing, I'll take it. Alright, let's get out of here, man. If the Kraken... Dude, I don't know how we're gonna make it against the Kraken, to be honest. I think the Kraken's gonna be really hard. I still have trouble with the Kraken boss battle. Yes, we're out of here. Sorry, guys. I just have to go. I hope you don't think I'm being rude. But anyway, we're here. Oh, I got the super effective dragon attack. Ah, but I got whipped. No, I could have taken care of the dragon. Help me. That dude. Oh, check this out. You're done, boy. Oh, oh my. <laughs> no. 
A little hiccup there. That was a rough little room. All right, cracking time. All right, we got Gobson over here. Let's go. I don't know what Kraken's like marine, right? What's he weak against? Let me just make sure I got the right weapon right here. Oh, I got this spear he's weak against. Um, let me see. Maybe get rid of... Uh, I need some... I got this fairy bow. Like, I don't need that. Do I have anything that's like two times? Oh, I can take this sword. And I got this dragon sword. Uh, I don't know what else I should need. I should, I should bring my cat staff. I like this thing a lot. Where's my holiday staff? Yeah, you know, we're gonna go with that. And I think we're set. Okay, let's go. Just trying to find some weapons that are super effective against the marine dude. And I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, Kraken. Hardest boss. I still have... I, I'm inexperienced in fighting him. So. Oh my gosh, I just did 900 damage to him with my special. Okay, you know what? Kraken's not gonna be that hard. That is annoying. That is also annoying. And I'm about to go. I'm out. Perfect dodge on that one, not bad. Yo, 86! Oh, that hyper beam! Oh! See, now this is where things get really tough. Hyper beam! Oh, it hurts! Oh, I can't dodge that. Get him! Now this part. Oh! 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 I gotta go get our buddy. Like, I'm trying to get the buddy alive. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna genie, dude. I'm like two seconds away from genie. Oh man, that's a tough boss, dude. Yo. I don't know, man. We didn't even, oh, we did get a drop. Oh, and we got the ultimate cream. Yo, we got the new moisturizing cream. We got the new moisturizing cream. That means that we can craft one of the new uh, clothing items. It's pretty great. I hope it's a hat. Okay, so from what I learned from that battle is that when he's in the middle and he does those tentacle spins, you can just dodge through his tentacles. And in you don't have to necessarily run around and then turn around. Uh, it could be Shadow Side Squid McCracken, sure. What do we need these lips for? And what do the lips do? <laughs> I don't even know, man. All right, so we only got three. We didn't perform so well. I don't care if I don't get the stupid lips. We got it in a lucky chest, so I'm happy about that. No clue what they do. It's probably some sort of accessory. All right. 
It was good. It was very good. Uh, I hope those cookies that I threw at you guys helped out. <laughs> Alright, we got a couple more, maybe. Uh, ooh, well, we actually got a lot more. Uh, we don't necessarily... We could do them, but maybe I'll do like two more, and we'll save some for next time. We'll save some for tomorrow. How about that? Uh, this is some sort of key. I have no idea about this, but we can go fight a dragon boss. We're gonna do the dragon boss. I'm going to... Uh, am I not good enough? Oh, I need to be in like a certain clothing or something for this one? Alright, forget that quest. Alright. Alright, so that we're not gonna do that quest. I kinda want it to though. Like, maybe I have to be in some sort of clothing. Like, I don't know what that extra like line of text that's like right over there says. No clue. Uh, so let's do... We can go fight the vampire again. That's a level 40 for a shield. I don't necessarily need the shield, though. But whatever. Let's do it. Alright. That's at level 7? Uh, chapter 7 quest? Like, we're able to? Alright. Oh, the dress code is pink. Okay, okay. I can go wear pink. I'm down. I'm down. Let's go wear some pink. <laughs> what is a dress code pink? What? For what? Why? Alright, we're gonna optimize the weaponry. We're gonna go pink dress code. I don't think I have all pink. I don't think I have all pink. I, I think I have uh, a couple things that are pink. Remember we bought this pink shirt? Yeah, like, so you need like the pink lettering. I hope it's not all pink. This is considered pink. This is not pink. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, I think, no, hold on, wait, what? What did I do? I thought I did that. Give me my pink shirt. Oh, don't I have a better pink shirt though? Like, give me some good feng shui, man. I'm not gonna settle for the first pink thing that I have. This is pretty pink. No, that's not pink, it's red. Dang it. All right, whatever. You could probably sort by color. All right, I'm just gonna take this one, whatever. Pink jacket, remember we made it. Uh, this is pink hat, and this is pink stuff, so... <laughs> Wear pink! What do you mean I'm not good? I don't get it! You can auto-equip clothes? I'm unable to. I don't have- I'm missing- I, I, I'm apparently missing one piece. I don't have a hat. I can't do the all pink quest. I don't, where did you get the the pink beret? I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't do it. It's lame. All right, sorry. I got to abandon that one. I'll have to find a way of getting a pink hat somewhere. Maybe I have to go to the shop and do it. All right, let's do let's do this one. We'll call it a day, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm ready. <laughs> that dude's ready. Apparently, I'm gonna throw some friend cookies at you guys. This one's gonna be a tough one. So. What? Actually, thank you. Deal. I'm ready. Who wants some cookies? Oh, thanks for the cookie. <laughs> Yo, cookie, returning cookies for you. Wait, did that work? You get a cookie. You, oh, he got two cookies. Stand over here. There we go. Are we good or what? All right, let's do this. You get a cookie. You get a cookie. Let's go. I'm ready. Pink vest. It's not happening. I don't have the pink head. It's a fairy electronic hat that you upgraded. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Fairy electronic hat that you upgraded. Hmm, can I do that? Fairy electronics hat. This one? Huh. I could do the pink quest if I upgrade this beret. 
Uh, I'll wait. We're already doing another quest, so I'll do it later. That's a good idea, though. You upgraded the hat and you got it. Alright, well, I like my little blue headband anyway, so let's go. Alrighty. Oh, man. Okay, so I think we're gonna do this for, um, I think this will be the last quest. We're at the two hour mark. I don't really want to go past that much, but I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. Dang it, I sprayed twice. That's a misclick. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I got some sort of lucky thing. Oh, nice. Hey, say me some of what in the world is that? Well, you made quick work of it. GG's. All right, well, accidentally misclicked and sprayed the cat spray on me twice. <laughs> A little baby owl. The demons. Wow, we're making some good work out of these guys. All right, let's keep going. Looks like we're done. I did leave a material behind. I see everyone coming this way, so I'm gonna assume that they're ready to go. Uh, wound up penguin, we're totally playing with real people. The realest people you'll ever know. So we can get healed up really quick, and let's giddy up. We're playing with two real people, and then the third person, since there's no one there, I get to take one of my snacks with me. So, hence, that's why uh, Cinderella's <laughs> Yo, I want to play this game all day tomorrow. All right, you guys are doing some work, pretty good. All right, time to split up. Divide and conquer, find the way out. I don't necessarily need to fight. Oh, I got the stink bomb. Dragon? Nope. this? Oh, Mayone! What are you doing here? Am I the only one in this? I'm gonna die! Oh, help! Help me! <laughs> Yo, help! Yo, this big bad wolf is destroying me! Some? Help me. We all died. Excuse me, what? How did we all die? That was a big bad wolf. Like, what happened? Dude, I don't know what happened. Why are they called snacks? That's what it is. Snack world, man. That was rough. Sorry, dudes. We'll get them again. Let's do another quest. That was hard. 41. We can go at level 41 against Medusa. Yeah, let's go. And I gave you guys snacks too. Or I gave, I'm sorry, I gave you guys friend cookies. Here, take one. You ready? You're a nice person. Have a cookie. On me. That's true. That's true. It does sound a little funny. Hey, we got a boy named Monkey. Oh, yo, Monkey, you better be ready. Hey. Raise your hand, dude. Can you handle this quest? I don't think you can. Get out of my room, boy. Monkey. Hey. 
He's out. All right, let's go. Hurry <laughs> before another one comes in. <laughs> All right, here we go. We all ate some cookies. I got a cookie. Yolanda tossed a cookie at me, so I'm I'm set. I don't know what the cookies do. I think it gives you a small stat boost. I don't know. But we're gonna go into the uh, Medusa dungeon, and since we're all familiar with Medusa, this is gonna be a recolor. It's gonna be a harder version. Level 41. I'm not ready. And I didn't optimize my weapons, so boo, boo. I forgot to do that. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it. Hmm. All right, let's go. All right, I kind of want to say stick together. Oh, Dragon Lord, the Yokai. That's, a, that's Azure Dragon right there. All right, whatever. Oh, sweet. Let's just go, man. I'm done. We're going. It doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. Let's go beat this. All right, all right. I'm down. Woo! We got, ooh, we got two things that are pretty rare. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do a little dance. <laughs> To take the time to press down on the D-pad, scroll over to said emoji, and just do it. That's awesome. It's funny, too. Nice. Give me some good treasure chest stuff. Oh, okay. Fine. What was Melon Man's name? Malonian? <laughs> Melon Man's name was Malonian. <laughs> oh, Get this guy with a super effective stick. Nice. I'll take that healing. Thank you. Malonian. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, where are we? Cat spray last, making it go far. All right, here we go. Oh, here's the key, dude. Excellent, we found the key boy. Now we just need to find the exit. Okay, I felt the HD rumble. That means that the door is open and we're set. Oh my, nice dodge. Yo, you guys made that thing spin. <laughs> Where is the door, please? Oh, there's a door. Okay, we're out of here. Let's go. You ready? Give me that thumbs up. We're all here. So that only means that you're ready. Okay, so that means we're done. We're gonna go fight Medusa. It's gonna be epic. We're gonna have a good time. Let's go. All right, here we go. Last boss of the live stream, ladies and gents. Let's go. Holy double Medusa, what? Oh, I don't know if I have anything super effective against her. Uh -huh. I'll take this one. You take that one. No, I missed it. 
Do I have a better weapon? I just have the stinking spear. Usually I can knock out the Medusa easy. Ow, oh, boy! Whoa! Whoa! Ow! Yo! You! <laughs> I'm about to get rocked. Oh, yo, you killed one! Good job, team! You did good. I'll take that eyeball, though. <laughs> yo, team did really well. You guys did awesome. I'm sorry, I didn't come equipped with ultra effective weaponry. I forgot to change. But, uh, it was good. We got some Medusa eyes, we got some uh, good stuff. Now here's hoping, since I didn't use any healing, here's hoping that we can get some good stuff. What the heck time is it, 10 o'clock? Four thousand bucks is good. Come on, give me this like epic shield. Oh, it's not a shield, it's like a staff or something. It looks like a legendary Jara to me. Oh, big seven, come on, baby. Legendary Jara, legendary Jara. Come on, man, come on. Really? Really? That's frustrating. God, I wanna do one more though. And now, uh, what do you think? How fast is one more gonna be? What do you say, one more? Dude, and that's the thing too, when you play Snack World, it's always like, come on, one more dungeon. One more dungeon, let's just, one more, let's go. All right, fine, one more. You guys want it? Thumbs up in the chat. <sighs> I wanna get that thing, dude. Like, I wanted that. Like, I truly want, I wanna try it again now. One more dungeon, no, I think we're gonna go. Jess is on the phone. She might wanna, she's coming home, so. Gotta tidy up a little bit. We'll do one more tomorrow. Okay, how about this? Instead of doing one more right now, uh, instead of doing one more right now, we'll absolutely do more tomorrow. We'll do the chapter seven. We'll do online grinding for some pretty cool Jaras. We'll do some fun stuff. I want you guys to be there. Uh, we'll, we'll use all of our experience. There we go, and check this out. By using these six cookies, we can get to level 39, almost and a half. That was really good, we got six of those things. We got two of these bad boys. We're gonna eat these little snacks. We're gonna use uh, this little baby experience, these mini x <laughs> All right, yeah, I think we're good. And uh, I think, yeah, I think we're, I can sell these gems. I got 17 friend cookies. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be pretty cool. So stay tuned tomorrow. We'll do something in the morning. It's about 10 right now, so maybe about 12 hours from now, right around 10 in the morning, we can do something like that. Let me know if you guys are up for it. If you guys like watching Snack World, I think it's really fun. I think that beating a quest and then jumping into those little treasure boxes and sometimes you get something good, it's like something in your brain that like feels really good. You know what I mean? It's like why I pull on Fire Emblem Heroes. Same concept. It's really weird. It's a weird satisfying thing and level five is like, they know it. They know it very well. The Cranky Kai and Wibble Wobble, the Cranky Kai and Yoko Watch one, two, three, four side quest games. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, what do we got? What do we got here? Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done. Thanks for being here. You guys are awesome. Banana boy. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for side questing in chapter 6 for me. We'll easily jump in and do a lot more, hopefully uh, sometime tomorrow. And then Friday, wait, tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Tomorrow's Wednesday and then Thursday. And then Friday's all about Nintendo Labo, so I hope you guys are gonna be able to stay up for Nintendo Labo because I'm gonna go to a midnight release. We're gonna pick up the Nintendo Labo at midnight. I'll be back at 1230 and then we're gonna Labo through the whole morning. It's gonna be pretty epic, so I want you guys there. Anyway, more Snack World coming at you tomorrow. We'll be there. Playlist, newest video, recommendation, subscribe. Have a great evening. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are an amazing crowd. Thanks for being here. We'll see you later.